Welcome to our channel Civil Aid U Online. In this particular video we are going to learn about some important points of topic name as theory of failure. Because in various competitive exams these are very frequent questions. So let's get started. First of all we are going to see the failure shapes of various theories and thereafter some key points. A maximum principal stress theory, Rankine theory, has the failure shape as square. B. Maximum shear stress theory Tresca theory, has the failure shape as hexagon. C. Maximum principal strain theory St. Venon's theory, has the failure shape as rhombus. D. Total strain energy theory Hayes theory, has the failure shape as ellipse. E. Maximum distortion energy theory, von Mises yield criterion, has the failure shape as ellipse and this theory is widely accepted for ductile materials. Note. All the theories of the failure will give the same result when you the actual state of stress. Examples dash. 1. Bar subjected to uniaxial load. 2. Beam subjected to pure bending. All the theories of the failure will give the same result when one of the principal stresses is very large as compared to the other principal stresses. For pure shear state of stress, all the theories of failure will give the different result ductile and brittle materials a ductile material deforms significantly before fracturing ductility is measured by percent elongation at the fracture point materials with 5% or more elongation are considered ductile the limiting strength of ductile materials is the stress at yield point a brittle material yields very little before fracturing the yield strength is approximately the same as the ultimate strength in tension. The ultimate strength in compression is much larger than the ultimate strength in tension. The limiting strength of brittle materials is the ultimate stress. Thank you for watching this video. For watching upcoming new video please subscribe to our channel.